Hey guys, so I never got a chance to film an outro or an intro to this video, but this is going to be the intro part. And basically what you guys are about to see is me attend the Hue Fair. And honestly, this is my first time ever attending like a natural hair fair or like, you know, a fair where companies come and they represent their products and stuff like that. I never really attended a fair like that. So this was my first time attending the Hue Fair. And I was so excited because honestly, this was like a last minute thing, y'all. Like I wasn't planning to go to this. I saw this like the day before literally the day before i went and i bought my ticket and then i went to the fair and honestly it was one to remember i received so many hair products like y'all they were not given travel size life size products no baby they were given the real deal okay they were given the big products from target ulta beauty like y'all it was worth it so this is the intro part i hope you guys really enjoy the video it is not a long one it is definitely going to be a short one but at the end of this video you're going to see all the natural hair products that i received from the hue fair like y'all i received so many great products it was products that i received that have been on my bucket list for a very long time but i haven't really gotten a chance to buy yet because my natural hair stash is mad full but the fact that i got it for free and the fact that baby that's it. Like the fact that I got it for free and I didn't really have to spend my coins. Whew. Ciao. Just stay tuned for the video. I'm gonna see you guys at the end. <laughs> Officially at the end of the video now y'all let me tell you something if the hue fair is in your city next year i definitely recommend going and like i mentioned in the beginning this was definitely a last minute thing like i was not planning to go to this thing at all i didn't even know what was happening like i was just scrolling through instagram and i saw one of my girlfriends post this and i'm like what is this i saw a natural hair fair and i was just like yeah i'm going yeah 
I gotta go, okay? Now it's time for me to show you guys all the products that I got from the Hue Fair and 95% of these products y'all were free. I did purchase I believe like four products and I will tell you guys which ones that I purchased but majority of these products were free and they were not no travel size. They were not no one ounce bottles, no baby. They were given the real deal. So let me show you guys the amount of bags that I have. Don't make fun of my hair, right y'all? My hair's in bantu nuts. I just washed my hair the other day and I didn't even know what to do. So I just put it in bantu nuts. But let me show you guys the bags that I got. So this is only three of the bags that I received. Actually, I should show you guys all the bags that I was carrying that day because I put all my products, like I minimized it into like four bags, but I had a lot more bags that day. So this is just three of them, all right? Then we got the Camille Rose bag and this bag is so freaking cute. Like not only because it's pink, but because look at it, y'all. It is so cute. Then Uncle Funky's daughter really did it with this bag because look at how big this thing is. Like. This thing is mad big, like. Then I have two other bags that I was actually carrying that day, but these don't have no products in there. So I have these two bags, and then I also have some other bags that are over there. But, so let me give you guys like a little rundown on how it went. So basically, you have to buy tickets in order to attend the Q Fair. Um, this one was in City Point, Brooklyn. The ticket was probably like, I think around $23, which wasn't that bad because of what I received. Um, and I feel like it just wasn't that bad in general. So general admission was $23. The first 200 people on the line would receive a goodie bag. And I was lucky to be one of those 200 people to receive a goodie bag. And I also went with my boyfriend. So he received a goodie bag for me, of course. <laughs> Ten toes behind his woman. <laughs> um, they also had like VIP and like other tickets that were available for like a night party and stuff like that. But I just wanted to go to the Hue Fair. I didn't really have time to do the malls and go to the night party and interact, which honestly, maybe next year I will. But this year, I just wanted to see what it was really all about. So when I got there, they gave you like a little wristband and there was also the Do. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that company. The Do was giving out like necklaces. That tag would say like, go to my booth and you'll get a free product. So of course I got a free product and my boyfriend got a free product. So um, that was also great because they were giving out products from their new collection, which I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm so happy I got my hands on that. For the most part, um, majority of these boots, they were giving out free products, free samples. They were even doing people's hair, which was just, it was such a great and good time. I'm gonna start off with the products that I actually bought from the Hue Fair. First and foremost, we're gonna start with Camille Rose. And I've been longing to try Camille Rose. I don't think I have any product from them, surprisingly. As I mentioned in the beginning, y'all, I am straying away from buying hair products because I have too many. There are some that I haven't even touched yet. They're collecting dust at this point. Like, I bought two products from Camille Rose. I was so like, I don't know, when it came to Camille Rose, for some reason, I was just so nervous. Like, When it comes to a big brand, it's just like, what do you say? What do you do? And you see all these products lined up and you don't even know which one to choose. You like... It's like you're stuck, you know? Like they have so many good products that you heard about and people rave about, but it's just like, which one do I get? Like, which one do I really need? Do I even remember the products that are in my hair stash? Like, y'all get what I mean? Like, that's really how it was with Camille Rose. I don't know, I was nervous. I, I don't know. Um, the first product is their Curl Aid Moisture Butter with green tea and jojoba. And honestly, I like butters in my hair. I feel like it retains the most moisture in my high porosity hair. Y'all know, if you have high porosity hair, baby, <laughs> It soaks up that moisture it smells amazing and also it looks very thick so i'm really excited to try this product i don't know when i'm gonna try it but i know i'll probably try it soon maybe towards like the winter time because in the winter time i'm planning to really protect the style of my hair and not do too much to it so i'm actually really excited to try this i also got their coco nibs and honey ultimate strength serum so with this funny thing is y'all is that i was gonna get this from i believe walmart i went to walmart Probably like two weeks ago and I was like I really want to try this because I've heard good things about it and I'm actually looking for a really good strengthening you know growing hair oil baby you know I had to get my hands on these to smell it right now mmm y'all it smells so good y'all can't even see but this thing it smells so good I'm actually gonna put it in my hair today ah, I'm so excited I just felt like such a luxury with with all these bags in my hand with free hair products like i was just in heaven so let's move on to two other things that i did buy from the q fair and that was the uncle funky's daughter super curl miracle moisture cream and she sold me with this because the smell on this was amazing the texture 
super silky like what one of the many things that i want is to use products of the same company like if i'm doing a wash and go or something because i've realized that when i've done a wash and go in the past i don't know for some reason my hair always tends to flake i don't know if i'm doing it wrong i i really don't know so i bought this moisture cream she said it's good for doing a wash and go catches i also got this curly magic curl stimulator with aloe vera marshmallow and nettle for kinky curly and wavy textures and i'm actually really excited for this because i've heard great things about this like just this alone i've heard some really great things about it um, and i'm actually really excited to try both of them together all right but next we're gonna get into the products that were free so we're gonna first start off with the do the b girl collection this honey curl custard and i've had my eyes on this for so freaking long like when it comes to the do Oh my God, they have good products. Like, I fell in love with their mousse. I am so excited to try this. Like, oh my God. The smell is okay, but y'all look at this. Baby, this is good stuff. This is no joke. Do y'all see that thickness? This is no joke. Ooh, 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 ooh. We not wasting no products over. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Do y'all see that? Baby, it's giving stronghold. It's given wash and go. Now, also with the do, um, we got the crazy sexy curly, well, crazy sexy curl, honey all in one setting foam. Um, and this right here, baby, I'm excited to try. Now, next, I also received this cream of nature pure honey hair food. It's a 24 hour nourishing cream oil. Now, I do have, I believe, like three products from cream of nature in my stash, but I have to give them a try again because I think the first time that I used one of their products, I didn't really like the way it made my hair feel when I blew it out. So I have to give it a try again and see what their products are really all about. It says it has pure honey, coconut oil, shea butter, and acai berry. So that's, that's honestly really interesting it does smell like it could be a smoothie it smells really good and it kind of looks like hair paint it looks like hair paint so so next is what i got from eden body works i got two lavender aloe growth oils eden body works is one of my favorite companies and i got these two growth oils so i'm actually excited because i like oils and i got this um set curl defining mousse style and define from mish yeah, i've never tried any of mish's products before then I got this Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Moisture Boost Moisture Grow Hair Dress. Now, I'm not going to use this. Um, I have nothing against Palmer's, but I don't know. I don't really use a hair dress, so I might give this away in a giveaway. Who knows? Next, from Shea Moisture, I got their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Fortifying Edge Gel. And I never even knew they had an edge gel. I'm very excited to try it. Um, and it says it's new, so I'm actually really excited to try it. Then I got their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Stronghold Styling Gel. And this is also something new that they came out with. Um, this I'm actually very excited to try because I saw this on somebody's TikTok. And I was just like, what? They have a Stronghold Styling Gel? This is probably something that I would try for a wash and go in the summertime. So next, moving on to another bag. I forgot I actually purchased this Twisted Def and twisting cream from curl dynasty she honestly sold me with this twist cream because her results were honestly so beautiful and i was just like let me just give this a try it actually smells really good as well then um this is also something else that i got from shea moisture i got their coconut and hibiscus and flaxseed styling gel um this also is something new and guess what y'all i didn't get one i didn't get two but baby I got three of these things, so I will probably be doing a giveaway and give away one of these or maybe two of these, but I definitely will be giving out one in a giveaway. I hit 8K on my Instagram, so make sure you guys are following me. Oh, but I got three of these things. And, and then, of course, got this bonnet by Cherish Naturals. And it's so cute, and I actually needed a new bonnet, which is why I purchased one. It also has this string that's attached to it that you can just do this so it can stay on your head. And that's what I really love about this bonnet because sometimes when you get bonnets from like the beauty supply store, what happens is that you wear it, you wear it, you wear it, and then it begins to stretch and then it doesn't stay on your head. So the good thing with this bonnet is that it has its string. So that way I know that I can wear this for a couple of months and it would still be good. Then I received this Cream of Nature edge brush, which I thought was pretty cool because honestly, I, what would I use for my edges? I would just use a brush from the beauty supply store, but I'm gonna try this and see how well it can lay down my edges. And then last but not least, I received a whole bunch of packets. 
that's how many i received i received a whole bunch of packets from like cream of nature palmer's uncle funky's daughter shea moisture so i have a whole bunch of packets right here that honestly i might not use i might use who knows that's when at least even though it's not a hair product i did receive the avita hand relief moisturizing cream and this is pretty cool because listen you can never run out of moisturizing cream for the hands on the go let's get one thing straight but yeah y'all that is all the products that i received from the hue fair if the hue fair is in your city next year i do recommend going if you're a naturalista if you love hair products i don't care even if you don't like natural hair just go and see how the experience may be for you they may change your opinion i totally had a blast and i can't wait to go again next year and actually meet new people and socialize and just really build my brand i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye